Adventure Mommy here to do an unboxing for all of you. It's been a while, you guys, since we did a GGB unboxing together, and this is two new launches. One of these, uh, one of these collaborations launched yesterday, and one launches soon. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this unboxing for you guys. I haven't seen any of these products in real life, but I did want to talk to you a little bit about what's in the box before we open it up. So if you want to skip this part and you just want to see what's inside, I will go ahead and put a timestamp down in the description box. But in here, you guys, we have the Root Studios and GGB collaboration pieces. And we also have the new Echo Line motif in here that is the mushroom motif. So the, the print that's mushroom motif. I haven't seen that one either. So really, really excited to see these. Now the thing with the Roots collaboration, GGB is describing it as a purposeful collection honoring traditions and cultures. So the Roots collection is four different prints as of right now by two different artists. So each artist did two prints. Now the first artist artist's name is Ramesh Katara and the second one is Ramila Berea and they're both from the Beal tribe. I think I'm saying that right. It's B-H-I-L, the Beal tribe. So when we get in here, we'll talk more about that. But again, each artist did two prints and I'm really excited to see it. And again, we also have two new pieces from the Echo line um, in here. So can't wait to see what's in this box. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So these first two prints that we're gonna look at right here, this color is called Sunbeam and this one's called Dotted Diamonds and both of these are done by the same artist. This is Ramesh Katara and again from the Beale Tribe. And as far as I understand it, the internal lining of the Sunbeam is the Dotted Diamonds. So I don't know if that means that the Dotted Diamonds internal lining is the Sunbeam, so we'll have to see. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look. All right, you guys, so this is the Sunbeam Bestie. So the, the color is Sunbeam and the style is the Bestie, which is the bigger version of the mini BFF. And I have purposely not watched any videos on this the Roots collection because I wanted to be surprised when I opened up the package for myself. So this is Chromatics fabric. It does feel a little bit different than the other Chromatics fabric, if I'm gonna be really honest with you. I have a lot of stuff in Chromatics and this one feels maybe just a little bit stiffer, not quite as, soft and floppy it still feels very nice i love the chromatics fabric um and then the hardware here i know it still has the plastic on it because we just opened it i'll go ahead and remove the nameplate plastic right here so maybe you can see better let's you go ahead and get a shot on in here but this is a satin gold so it has satin gold hardware it's a very pretty it's a muted gold it's beautiful let's go ahead and take a look at the lining Ooh, okay, so this looks like a yellow version, like a yellow and green version of the dotted diamonds. So the other dotted diamonds is like an orangey, peachy kind of color. And this one, look at it, it's just, it's really, really cute. So you can see, it looks the same, just in a different colorway. That's a lot of fun. I really, really like this. And this is the normal sateen internal lining. And then your strap is this really, um, just a really cheerful yellow color. Again, with that satin gold hardware. Really nice swivel clips, sturdy hardware. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Bestie, it does have one zippered compartment across the back, one elasticized slip pocket in the front, then you have a mommy pocket in the front right here. It has one elasticized slip pocket for organization. And then you have one slip pocket on the back side. And that also has a bright pop of color right there. Let's move the tag out of the way. Let's try that again. And this can be worn crossbody or it can be worn backpack style with that same strap. Now let's take a look at the B set in the dotted diamonds. So this is the dotted diamonds again by the same artist and the hardware on this one is a satin rose gold. So it's a satin rose gold color. It's very pretty. Hopefully you can get a nice look at that hardware there. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the print closer to the camera so you can see it. It looks like there's some pink, some like lighter pink and darker pink, some coral color, some browns. It's just very, very pretty. And then the zipper on the top here, the zipper right here, looks like it's like a peachy pink color. Done really, really well. It's very complimentary. I think this print's beautiful. Online, it doesn't do this print justice. It's much more pretty in person. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lining.
Okay, so the lining on this matches the zipper. It's that very pretty, like, soft pinky peach color. Very, very pretty. And it is more pink than peach. It definitely pulls more pink. Very pretty. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the B set, it is a collection of three bags. You do get two straps. You get a long strap that you can use to wear the bag's crossbody that is adjustable, and then you get a short strap. And then you get a medium set piece. as well as a small set piece. Sometimes the patterns vary for the piece, but on this collection, it doesn't. So you have the metal nameplate, the metal nameplate, and then the fabric tag right here. I was wondering if it was gonna say roots on one side, but it doesn't. It says due to be on both sides of that tag. Okay, you guys, I totally forgot that I ordered this and I'm gonna lay it flat so hopefully you can see it. This is a nursery organizer, you guys, and I don't have little kids in diapers. I don't have a changing table up that I need to use. But when I saw this, <laughs> this is gonna work great for my Keens wagon as a side organizer. So I think it'll attach really nicely to the sidebars on the Keens. And I'll just have an organizer, but it has a really nice deep slip pocket on each side. So I'll go ahead and put my arm in here so you can see my fingers. It comes halfway up my forearm. So it's a pretty large pocket. So you have matching pockets like that. Then you have these like triangled envelope looking pockets, really cute, one on each side and then kind of a slanted pocket here. Again, I just think it would, works, would work really good on the Keens wagon or any stroller wagon, just to offer you a little bit more organization on the side without adding bulk. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. If anybody's interested, I can take some footage possibly of it on my wagon. But uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's not just for nurseries. That'll be good for a stroller or a wagon. And that's what I'm gonna use it for. And this is also in the chromatics fabric in the sunbeam color and it just attaches, you see you just have the strap, so there's no Velcro or anything like that. And then the back side is just a solid back. Okay, these last two pieces that I'm gonna be talking to you about are by the artist Ramila Barria. Again, I'll put the artist name right here, but again, that's Ramia Barria. And again, also from the Beale Tribe. And this print here is called Embroidered Jade. And this one is called Wildlife. Wildlife as in two words, not one. I'll go ahead and open them. Let's take a look. And I tried to get some different styles so you weren't looking at everything in the same style all the time. This right here is a Be Quick. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. This is actual embroidery. I'm gonna hold it up close to the camera so you can get a nice look. It's a duck of some kind, it looks like, and that is just stunning. So it's got green and teal and purple and pink and tan. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this particular, uh, the embroidered jade has satin silver hardware on it. So the Be Quick comes with a short strap attached. Let's see if let's go ahead and open it up. It also comes with a long crossbody strap that's adjustable. And then in here you have the wildlife patterns. Remember this artist made both of these patterns. Sorry, we had to take a coughing break there for a second. So because the artist is the same for the, both these prints, they went ahead and they used the lining, the wildlife lining on the embroidered jade, which I think was just a great detail. But I can't believe that. That is just stunning, you guys. That's stunning. And again, the Be Quick comes with a long strap adjustable and a short strap. And for those of you who aren't familiar, let me go ahead and show you. Because sometimes I forget that there's new people like... I've been doing Jujubee reviews for eight years and sometimes I forget that people can be new to Jujubee. So I wanted to show you the size difference between the Be Quick and the large set piece. And then when you look at them from the side, they're actually done very differently. Now also you have to remember the fabric's different. The embroidered jade is a chromatic, this is a chromatic fabric and this is a, the standard Jujubee fabric. You can get a size difference like that. And I'll lay them on top of each other because I know a lot of people want to know what the difference is. I'll be honest with you, if you're going to pack one as a um, diapering essentials clutch, I would go, if you're using anything bigger than like a size 2 diaper, I would go with a big Be Quick. The large set piece works great for smaller diapers, but as soon as you get into the larger ones, you kind of have to manipulate them in there a little bit. Oh, and again, for those of you who don't know, the Be Quick does have one very large zippered pocket across the back panel. That lining is beautiful. 
I'm partial to green though, you guys, like this. This one is gorgeous. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can get a look at this whole print here. This is the wildlife print and it is so beautiful. Wow. My adult daughter, so my children range anywhere from the age of six to almost 28, and my 28-year-old loves this pattern so much. We are animal fanatics, though. We love going places to see animals. It's just beautiful. So this is the Super Bee, you guys, and the Super Bee in the Wildlife has the satin silver hardware. So I'll let you go ahead and take a look at that hardware plate. So again, that's the satin silver hardware. And the other bag that had the satin silver hardware was the embroidered jade. Let's go ahead and take a look. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Super Bee, it has two large insulated slip pockets right on the front to go the whole depth of the bag. And then you have a zippered compartment on the front that goes to right here. You can see where my fingers are. And then on the back side of the bag, you have a poppable snap pocket. And you can see the lining in here. I think this is the same color as the embroidered jade. Let's take a look. Yes. So it's pretty much the same color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Okay guys, these pockets are all open. That's so weird. I've never, I don't think I've ever received a Super B before where things were unzipped. So you can see back here, there is one zippered pocket. We'll go ahead and zip that up. And then on the front panel, let me turn it around so you can see better. On the front panel, you have two slip pockets, two mesh slip pockets. They are not elasticized. And you have a really nice long key leash. And then GGB has recently started putting D-rings on the sides of their Super B. So if you wanna go ahead and attach a messenger strap, it is very easy to do so. And you no longer have to add your own D-rings. So before we get on to the Echo Collection mushroom motif stuff, We'll go ahead and do a quick recap. So we have the Sunbeam and the Dotted Diamonds by Ramesh Katara. And then we have the Embroidered Jade and the Wildlife. And both of those are done by Ramila Berea, part of the Beale Tribe. All, uh, both artists are part of the Beale Tribe. So again, the Sunbeam and the Embroidered Jade are Chromatics fabric and the Wildlife and the Dotted Diamonds are standard GGB fabric. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so before I open these, I'll show these to you. This is the new Echo Zip. And I actually thought this was gonna be a bigger bag. I'm surprised by this. This is about the size of a coin purse. And if I'd known it was gonna be the size, I would have brought out a coin purse to actually check the size. It might be slightly bigger than a coin purse. It might be like between a coin purse and a small B set piece. And then this is the all set and the Echo Collection. This is the truffle color. So this is truffle and this is the mushroom motif. Well, let's go ahead and open them. Actually, let's start with a little one. Okay, so this is really cute. So again, this is the, um, this is the Echo Zip. It's called the Echo Zip in the mushroom motif. And it's made from recycled single-use water bottles. So it's really cute. I think it's really cute. And look at the little jujube star. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? That is so cute. That is throwing me back a couple years ago to the old jujube star. And then it has a, I believe it's a vegan leather. I mean, this is the washable. Oh, this is not vegan. Oh, it's a pocket. You guys, it's a pocket. I thought it was a label. It's like a slip pocket. Wow, that's really cute. To like a purpley brown, a cool brown versus a warm brown. That is so cute. And I love the fuchsia and the blues on here with the greens. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that was. Like I said, I've watched no videos, so. Love this, love this. This is so cute. Okay, so now this is the Echo All Set and the Truffle. And this color is the same as this color here. So you can see that they match. But this is actually like a fabric. You can hear that. It's um, a little bit like the Chromatics fabric. 
not exactly, but a little bit is what it feels like. And it has a different kind of nameplate. I'll let you go ahead and take a look at that. So it's a little bit different than the other ones. Cute. Let's go ahead and take a look at the zipper pull. Oh, that's a really cute zipper pull. I'm gonna take a look at that there. Let's go ahead and open it up. Nice smooth zippers. You guys know Juju is great with their zippers. And then the internal lining. So this bag does not have um, a zipper or anything, any kind of internal organization, but it opens really nice and wide. It opens beautifully. That's great. And then this is their medium piece that goes with it. And there's more of a look at the mushroom print. And I'm assuming that this zipper pull matches. Really, really cute. I'm just kind of pausing here so you guys can take a look at it. Let's go ahead and look at the small piece. I wasn't sure what the small piece was going to look like. Let's go ahead and stand these up here. And the small piece has a embroidered jujube star on it. Same nice zipper pull. Sometimes the small pieces have a different zipper pull. And let's see if it has the same lining. And it does. It has the same mushroom lining. The all set is really cute, you guys. If you're on the fence about this, I would say get it. This is this is so adorable. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is just the cutest thing ever. And again, remember this line is made with uh, recycled single-use water bottles or single-use plastic bottles. All right, well, if you've been here for the whole video, I appreciate it. You guys know I can talk a lot, and I had meetings today. You guys, I had three meetings today, and I pretty much lost my voice because I talked all day long. So sorry about the voice quality of this video, but I wanted to get it out for you. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hi, please go ahead and do that. As always, I will go ahead and put my Jujube link down in the description box below. If you'd like to shop with me, I appreciate it. If not, no big deal, no pressure, never any pressure. I'm just happy that you're here, happy to chat, happy to say hi, happy to answer any questions that you might have. Now remember, I don't work for GGB, but I will try to help you out with any questions that you have or try to help you get the answers that you're looking for. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.